Okay, we got some uh, package here, unboxing from Bulk Weave Supply. And uh, I believe I ordered um, an auto top off from Tunzi. Uh, 3155 and uh, some Hannah checkers. So, okay, here. There you go. I always had problems uh, with my um, test kit, so decided to order some uh, Hannah checkers. And uh, here, this is a packing slip. This is a 3155 oscillator. They say it's probably the best one out there, so oh, guys, I'll let you know how it uh, adds up. And then we have from Hannah Instruments. These are the colorometer. It checks for phosphates. One is for phosphates, one is for calcium, and one is for alkalinity. Uh, yeah, this is how they come. Uh, this is doesn't say on the box here. Or it does. Uh, it says this is for the phosphate. Phosphate. And uh, this one is for the calcium. And this one is for alkalinity. So, this is a tank, if it focuses, and I moved some stuff around, we bought some, unfortunately I lost uh, one of the clownfish in the power head, I didn't have the sponge on, and uh, unfortunately he got pulled in, so I went out and bought another one, which is this guy here. And he's almost the same size, but uh, yeah, I moved the rock, this rock here, I moved it, put it up there, uh, put that Aussie torch, up, gold Aussie torch up there, it was down here acclimating. Uh, I got this beautiful GSP, uh, this, I forgot the name, I can't pronounce it right, Symponium or Symptonium, I forgot the name of it's beautiful. It's like a grassy bluish green grassy thing. It's still not opening up But yeah, it's beautiful And I uh, moved a couple of the Zoas around I got some extra cleaner crews Move the Ghanio power back here. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, let's start off with uh, this little mushroom here. I want to see the progress, so that's why I'm taking these videos and for people to enjoy and see them. Because I often do uh, enjoy these videos on uh, YouTube. Uh, one is the inappropriate reefer. Uh, Nathan Willard, he has a beautiful uh, Red Sea Reefer 250, I believe. Uh, videos from Bulk Food Supply, and I could go on and on, but I won't. A little cleaner shrimp here. He's doing pretty good. Uh, this GSP is kind of weird. It's not the same as this one here. So, here. Yeah. This one is kind of weird. This one is always open. And maybe it's a different type of GSP, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, but you know, unfortunately, the recordias or mushroom recordias, I don't know what they're called, they're kind of struggling. Uh, I have one here. I move it around to see what kind of flow they like. And my clove polyps here are kind of retracted. They won't fully extend out. There's no polyp extension. There's my harlequin shrimp. He's still chomping away at that red starfish we had. Unfortunately, he's gone. And uh, that's the pulsating zinnia that locked on there. Another mushroom. Yeah, this mushroom back here is gigantic. And then this green one here is beautiful too, it's opening up nicely. Uh, this is the other piece of the pulsating zinnia. It's kind of withered away a little. And uh, I ordered another light, uh, Radeon one, the same one exact. So I could put another one because there's too much shade on the sides. Yeah, so I'll try to get my uh, parameter straight and uh, see how it goes. This is the second video. Hope you guys enjoy.